Wesley, and one of the pastors there told the story that he was on the airline, he noticed he was at a convention, everybody had their convention bags that were United Methodist, and so he stood up on the plane and said, the Lord be with you in the whole plane, and also with you. We are so excited that you're here tonight. We are in for a beautiful treat. I snuck into the education building earlier and heard them singing. They sang their prayers at dinner tonight. Just an amazing, amazing opportunity that we have uh, for the Asante Choir to be here. I know that this goes without saying, but I am going to invite you to silence your cell phones. Go figure. Um, I want to introduce Bracken United Methodist Church and the many volunteers that have helped um, cook dinner, provide housing, provide transportation, on and on and on. And I also want to say an appreciation for Shirts United Methodist Church, who has also provided housing for these students. And so if in any way, shape, or form you have volunteered your time, your hounds, please stand and let us appreciate you. It takes a lot that's going on behind the scenes. I will tell you that the Asante Children's Choir is comprised of 22 children from East Africa. This particular touring group is all from Uganda. They arrived on July 9th and began their tour in Wisconsin. And so they're slowly making their way down mid and south and they're gonna head out to Louisiana, Alabama, Georgia, and Florida in the months ahead. They'll be here four more months um, and then they'll head back home. Asante uh, means uh, thank you. Thank you. And they're very appreciative of, of all the support that we're showing this evening and those who are supporting their ministry right now. Um, we'll hear a little bit more about that as they have a costume change uh, in the middle. Um, but they are performing on this tour, Jericho. And so the Jericho idea is about moving forward. And they will tell you more about that. But the focus is continuing to praise and worship through all of the trials of life, um, knowing that God is always there, breaking down the walls for good things to happen. Um, as I was sitting at dinner tonight, I learned a few things, uh, not only about the children, but about the sponsors too. The children performing tonight are the ages of 5 to 14, predominantly 8 and 9-year-olds. But of the, of, uh, the sponsors that are here, Several of them began their ministry with Asante as being children singing in the choir, too. Um, one as young as five at the time, the oldest 15 at the time. And so uh, the majority of the sponsors uh, are glad to be here, are glad to be involved in Asante ministry. And so let us just welcome and appreciate the choir.
Rola, 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 Rola,
evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. My name is Eric. I hope we're enjoying our concert so far. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Our tour is called Jericho. Moving forward, just five three songs and dance. That there is power in praise. Yeah. All of us here have gone through much pain and suffering, but we keep praising God. Through it all, He has faithfully moved us to a place of blessing. If you keep praising God through your problems, He will bring those down in your life. This is my testimony for you tonight. In Joshua chapter 1, verse 9, the Lord says that, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, nor dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Our next song is called Song Ebele, which is Swahili for moving forward. God bless you.
I am one of the chaperones that is just so blessed to be able to travel with these kids while they're here in the States. A little bit about that video that you just saw. The gentleman named Aman is one of the original co-founders of Asante Ministries, and he's from Rwanda, Africa. During the genocide in 1994, one million people died in less than 90 days. And Aman and his family were actually able to escape and they found refuge in Uganda and, and they tried to pick up life after that. I mean, he started going to school and just tried to get all of that out of his mind. But little did he know, four years later, God would be bringing him back to Rwanda. And when he went back there in 1999, he saw that there were all these children that were left on the streets. They had no guidance, no supervision. They were all getting into trouble. None of them were going to school. They were all just trying to fend for themselves and to survive. And he saw all these kids and he's like, God, these are your children and we have to do something about this. So God gave him the vision of Asante Ministries. And so what Asante Ministries does is we build schools and we fill them with sponsored children. It all started with that one little girl named Naomi in the video. And once um, some of Amon's friends found out that he was sponsoring her, they all came together and started sponsoring more and more children. And so that started in 1999 and now up until this day, because of people like you, Asante is sponsoring a little over 3,000 children. And we have three schools. We have two in Rwanda, one in Burundi, and now this tour is gonna go to finance to build a school in Uganda for the kids that you see up here dancing and singing tonight. So with our sponsorship program, what it is, is it's $35 a month. I mean, that's like taking your family out to dinner or skipping a week of getting your favorite coffee drink in the morning. And what that can do is that can change a child's life. I mean, I don't know about you, but when I see these children up here, they're not performing, they're praising, they're worshiping, and the presence of God is just so strong, and the anointing is just so magnetic. And these children, they truly exemplify that childlike faith that God asks us to have. And I know you host families can testify that these children truly exemplify the fruits of the Spirit. And so these children, they're just representing hundreds of more kids just like themselves, waiting for that opportunity to become sponsored. With the sponsorship program, what it does is it takes care of all their schooling, all their school fees, school uniforms, 100% of their medical care, and it also makes sure that they get, they get food every day, and then that they also uh, attend a Bible study or a worship service together every weekend. So not only are you helping with their school, but you're also helping them build a foundation in the Word of God. They're able to fellowship together, pray together, and become to know who God and know who Jesus is. So when you're sponsoring these children, it's more than just education. You're actually expanding the kingdom of God. <clears throat> and so this is what the profiles look like of the children that you can sponsor tonight. We have kids from Rwanda, Uganda, and Burundi that are all looking to be sponsored. And so this is one boy right here, and he's currently in fifth grade. His name is Eric. His favorite su school subject is math. When he grows up, he hopes to become a doctor, and in his free time, he enjoys playing soccer and dancing. And so, the reason why these children say they want to become a doctor, let me give you a little information about the country of Uganda. It is a little bit smaller than the size of the state of Oregon, but its population is a little bit more than 38 million people. And three out of every 10 people in Uganda are infected with HIV AIDS. So when these children say they want to become a doctor, it means they want to put their hand to something. They want to see their friends and family become healed. They want to see that sickness be gone and done away with. And so when you're sponsoring these children, you're giving them a hope that they can make a difference in their country and to see it become beautiful again. You're able to write letters back and forth to them. They'll send you pictures. You can buy gifts for them. You can, you can buy them a goat or a chicken or a bag of rice for their family. And so if God's laying it on your heart tonight to sponsor, please come see us at the tables. They're right over there. You're able to choose which child you want to sponsor tonight, and you can take one of these home with you. And then we also offer opportunities if you want to. You can go over to East Africa and meet your sponsored child face to face and get to see the difference you really are making. So a little bit about these kids that you see up here tonight. There is 22 of them. The youngest one is 5 years old, and the oldest one is 14 years old. They're all from Uganda, and it's their very first time here. And we're in the middle of a 10-month tour, 
We have four more months to go and five more states to go. And then we've already been to nine states. And since it's their first time, it's their first time ever having McDonald's. It's their first time ever having pizza. One thing that they love having is cotton candy. <laughs> Has been a fun one for them. But one thing that these children are praying really, really hard for, but us as chaperones are praying completely against, is these children really want to see lots and lots of snow. Yeah. So don't be surprised if it starts snowing tonight or tomorrow. You can come to the church and play with them. But So these kids, um, this is the fourth choir that I've traveled with. And every time when they see snow for the first time, what they'll do is they'll run outside and get a big ball of it. And then they'll come back inside the house and they'll put it in their suitcases because they want to take it home to show their friends and family. So it's just fun little humbling experiences that is just so wonderful to be a part of. And I mean, these kids are just ambassadors representing hundreds of more kids in East Africa looking to be sponsored. So one more way that you guys can help us is we have amazing product that's over there. It's all handmade from, from Africa. There's handbags, there's jewelry, the best coffee you'll ever have. I guarantee you it's better than any Starbucks you've ever tasted in your life. So grab a bag of those and take that home with you. 90% of whatever you guys give goes directly to the children. And that love offering that you just donated to, that's going to go to help build those schools and the Asante homes. So at this time, I'm going to ask the pastor, Chris, to come to this stage, and she's going to talk to you guys and give you a little bit more of information. Thank you. You're doing amazing things here. Uh, I noticed that the collection plate went through in the middle of the video, but I would encourage you, if you would like to make a love donation and have a checkbook, it can be made directly to Asante Children's Choir. They're receiving 100% of this love offering for the ministries that they're doing. And by your giving tonight, we're enabling this choir to continue to perform all over this country, but not just this choir. Choirs in the future will touch more lives and more lives and more people will come to know the love of God in and through song and dance and worship with these children. And so I thank you in advance for your generosity and I'm gonna turn it back over to Asante. Hello, my name is Olivia. When I grow up, I hope to be a lawyer. Hello, my name is Fred. When I grow up, I hope to be a musician. Hello, my name is Ruth. When I grow up, I hope to be a choir director. Yes. Hey, Hello, my name is Joshua. When I grow up, I hope to be a sound and light technician. Hello, my name is Luke. When I grow up, I hope to be an engineer. Hello, my name is Thanks. When I grow up, I hope to be a pilot. Hello, my name is Eric. When I grow up, I have to be a professional soccer player. <coughs> Hello, my name is Silas. When I grow up, I have to be a businessman. <coughs> Hello, my name is Ivan. When I grow up, I hope to be a soldier. Hello, my name is Arthur. When I grow up, I hope to be a policeman. Hello, my name is Emmanuel. When I grow up, I hope to be a pastor. Hello, my name is Isiak. When I grow up, I hope to be a firefighter. Hello, my name is Sarah. When I grow up, I hope to be a president. <laughs> Hello, my name is Elizabeth. When I grow up, I hope to be a chef. Hello, my name is Tracy. When I grow up, I hope to be a fashion designer. Hello, my name is Priscilla. When I grow up, I hope to be a children's doctor. Hello, my name is Victoria. When I grow up, I hope to be a nurse. Hello, my name is Deborah. When I grow up, I hope to be a princess. <laughs>
worthy of praise. He is to be feared above all other gods, for all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. You are not a God created by human hands. You are not a God dependent on any mortal man. You are not a God in need of anything we can give. You are God, and that's just the way it is. Open up your gates. Open up your ancient doors, that the King of Glory may come in. You are not a God created by human hands. You are not a God dependent on any mortal man. You are not a God.
talks about the glorious days that we shall spend in heaven. To Samarimia Kijombe Muni Paradis O Imana. Samarimia Kijombe Muni Paradis O Imana. To Samarimia Kijombe Muni Paradis O Imana. Samarimia Kijombe Muni Paradis O Imana.
and one of those opportunities is you can you can become a volunteer with Asante. We normally have choirs running every year, so this is the seventh Asante choir, and every year we're looking out for volunteers, people who can hop on the bus and travel with the kids for four or six months. So we're always looking out for bus drivers, sound and light technicians, teachers, coordinators, administrators. So if you are interested, or if you know of a person who is interested in becoming a volunteer with a Santa Children's Choir, come visit us at our sponsorship tables. We have forms that you can fill. Give us your name, email, and phone number, and we'll get in touch with you. And we'll also give you literature on how you can become um, a volunteer. Now, they'll call you auntie and uncle, yes. We also have mission trips that run every year. Now you, you can either go to Uganda, where all these kids come from, or Rwanda, or Burundi. Now, on these mission trips, if you so happen to sponsor a child through Asante, and you want to go visit your sponsored child, there's that opportunity to be able to see your sponsored child, also visit the family, the community, and also you get an opportunity to visit different projects Asante has in that particular country. And again, you might see the kids you are seeing tonight performing once again. And also you might be able to see um, a choir in training in one of the three East African countries. So you don't want to miss out on that. Now we also, once in a while, have um, activities like building a house for a widow or building a house for uh, one of your sponsored children. So there are different fun things that you do on the mission trip. So sign up and go for those mission trips. They are open to anyone, not limited to only sponsors. So if you want to go for the mission trips, they're always open. We have information about the mission trips and also you, 
you can also visit our website. Now, uh, earlier, I mean yesterday, people were asking about the kids, how they made it to the choir. Maybe if you don't know, these kids all tried out and we auditioned like around a hundred kids and 22 kids you see here tonight made it out of the auditions and they are doing a wonderful job. Yeah. Now these kids, as Bunny mentioned earlier, these are ambassadors of all the little children back home. Now the kids you see here tonight are all sponsored and people like you are investing in their lives and making a huge difference in their lives. So they are here to say a big Asante. And you know what Asante means? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the love and support you're showing these kids and all these other kids way back in East Africa. And also on behalf of any ministry that you support, um, we're here to say thank you on behalf of all these ministries that help children around the world. And we're here to also say that if God has laid it on your heart to sponsor a child, um, we, have, we have profiles where you could look at and make a difference in a kid's life today, tonight. Send that child to school, put a smile on their face like these kids here tonight. Um, most of them want to be teachers, lawyers, and doctors, and so that they be able to impact their communities where they come from. So if the Lord has laid it on your heart, please pick a child and make a difference in their lives. And just know with $35, you are making a huge difference in these children's lives. So visit our sponsorship table and we'll give you more information and you can sign up how to become a sponsor. And remember, you, you get to participate in their physical and spiritual lives. You know, you can visit your sponsored child. You can send different items to your sponsored child and you keep in touch through letter writing um, throughout the year. All right. Now we want to say a big thank you to all of you who came out tonight to support us. Thank you so much. We want to say a big thank you to all our host families. I know the past already um, asked the host families to stand up, but host families, can you stand up once again? Thank you so much. Thank you for the warm hospitality. Thank you for um, everyone who's, who's doing all the meals for us, all the warm food. Thank you so much. And thank you, the pastor and the church administration that made sure that we're here tonight. Thank you so much. So, Visit our tables. We have um, goodies from Africa, um, different products, as already said, mentioned. And please know that the proceeds, 90%, go towards the children and 10 towards administration. So, either table, you make a difference um, in these kids' lives. Now, I believe the kids have one more song. Yes, Uncle. <laughs> yes. Now I'm going to request, if you can, to stand on your feet and join along. Thank you.
This evening, I want to hear a yay God. Wasn't that amazing? Would you pray with me, please? Holy and gracious God, we do indeed give you thanks for this evening, the way that your spirit is moving in this place and in our lives. Thank you for the Sasanti Choir. We pray your blessings would continue in their ministries and that your protection would be upon them as they travel these states. Uh, continue to burn in our hearts by the, the gift of this evening. We pray this in Christ's name. Amen. 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 My understanding. <laughs>